everyone! It's me, Dirt, and today I'm gonna make my book review. The title of today's book is Olive of Rue and Great Time Slurp. Olive is cup smack. Basil Heaven Hoffenheimer has just hiked out of the Black Forest in 1857 into the Miss Grove Spotting School for naughty boys, talking animals, and circus performers, which, when he offers to take Olive into the past, she cannot resist an exciting time traveling adventure. After all, what could possibly go wrong? Plenty, yep, reader, plenty. When Olive and her friends return to the present with a hungry dinosaur and Elizabeth the pirate and Caesar's happy Servant boy, strange and disturbing things start to happen at Proofs. Furthermore, new student Pink McKenzie is taking an uncomfortable interest in the dangers and disasters of time travel. Can Basin and Olive keep control of their adventure over the time slurp and a certain villainous pig? Have their wicked way. It was a bright sunny morning, and Olive was yawning. Oh, I'm very sleepy. I think I still want to sleep, she said. Okay, you know what? Nope, that was not what she did. Because the proper thing was, she was supposed to be out celebrating because she was the new captain. She was a new president in school. But the teacher thought that this was the 50th century anniversary of oxygen. Oh, I wouldn't want to be like that. Write down in the comments below in the description box what do you do if your teacher forgot that you're supposed to be class president and she thought that it was an anniversary of any chemical CO2. O2 or CO2COOH maybe or CO3COOH. Basil, however, just came, he said. Hello, everybody. My name is Basil and I come from German Black Forest in Germany, he said. He had a strange German accent, thought. Olive. Strange German accent indeed. He clicked his toes every time he said something. And he had really, really funny clock. And went backward. She thought, hmm, I'm not very sure about this. This is it. Uh, hello, Mr. President, uh, Miss President, but may I have a small talk, some talk with you? Mm, Olive said, sure, why not? They went into the room, and Basil said, Do you have a clock that goes backwards instead of going in front? Olive said, yes, sure, I have it. Why? It's spoiled anyway. Why do you want a broken clock? Basil's father, Basil said, Oh, because you shall be able to What? said Olive, so amazed at the possibility to travel to present. Thought, wow, this is an interesting thing. What am I going to do? I mean, look, here's someone, and I'm going to go to the past. Basil said, where would you like to go? He said, in the past. Olive replied, the Jurassic Era indeed, she said, in a high superior voice. Mind you, because she is a class president, and class presidents always use that kind of tone. The Jurassic Era it shall be, said Basil, sounding like, like a tender. Alright everybody, group together, and let us go. Into...
The Jurassic Era. When the clock reached twelve, Basil muttered some magic words. And you know what happened? Suddenly the clock spread a mist full of air magically happening. It was so hard, she couldn't even open her eyes. It was like caterpillars, they were moving up. Caterpillars were moving in her room. It was on her wallpaper. Suddenly, zip! You heard, you heard it like a rubber chicken noise. After that, everything stopped. She opened her eyes, and to her amazement, Basil had really invited her to dress pro. Suddenly, a dinosaur said, <sighs> and stepped on their only time traveling cloth. Oh no, what are they going to do? I recommend that this book is for ages 9 and above because it's really hard to understand. And has some deep meanings. Please subscribe, like, and press the notifications bell to get updated to the latest videos on Sir 911. Thanks for watching!